The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Francis de Sales Church on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. It is December 27th. It's the Feast of the Holy Family. This is a sponsored Mass. It's being sponsored by Gil and Lutgarda Vasquez, and they're happily here with us to celebrate here in the congregation. Also in the congregation to celebrate with us, LaSalle Academy from Manhattan, Iona Prep Upper School and Lower School from New Rochelle. Our presider for today's Mass is Father Paul Fagan from our residence in Pelham. Our lector is Rob Skolitz, and we're happy that you can celebrate this Feast of the Holy Family. Please open your prayer guide, and let's begin our celebration. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you today. And as we come together on this feast of the Holy Family to honor them and their example in our life, but also to honor the gift of family as it touches all of our lives, let us first pause and prepare ourselves to encounter the gift that God has given to us this day. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, Christ, have mercy. You are the splendor of the Father and the Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to the gift of everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, you were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family. Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, Delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children, a mother's authority he confirms over his sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, Take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord 
and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God chosen ones holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, he went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days and they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day, looking for him among the relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they didn't under, did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and humankind. The Gospel of the Lord. Many years ago, long before I was 
a priest and a passionist, I was a social worker. And I worked with abused and neglected children. But towards the end of my time as a social worker, I moved from a unit dealing with abused and neglected children to a unit that dealt with children that needed to be adopted. Uh, they were older kids who, who had had a tough life. There was one young man in his early teens, Tony. Uh, he had been abused and neglected from his birth. He had come into this world with many physical and emotional challenges. He spent his life in a wheelchair. And one day, it was a summer day, we were sitting out in the backyard, and he looked at me, and he used to call me Mr. Paul. And he said, Mr. Paul, he says, I don't have a family. And I said, sure you do. Uh, your foster mother loves you very much. Uh, your foster brothers and sisters, they, they care for you. They take care of you. There's a lot of people that care about you. I said, you know, family isn't always somebody that we're connected to in a biological way or through DNA. Uh, it's about people who care for us. He said, from now on, I'm going to call you Uncle Paul because you care for me. I've never forgotten that moment, never forgotten that honor of being thought of as someone a part of Tony's family. It's a gift. Not long after that, because of the complications of his life and his illnesses, uh, Tony passed on. Uh, but I have never forgot uh, that I had a, a special nephew in my life. And today we celebrate a wonderful feast of the Holy Family, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. A wonderful example of, of people who lived out their life, who cared for one another. Uh, today in, in our gospel, Mary and Joseph care and are concerned about Jesus. Uh, he cares and is concerned about them to travel back home and to continue to be that beloved son uh, that God has entitled him to be. Family is about caring. It's about compassion. It's about concern for one another. And we have to remember that when we enter into this conversation, when we have this rhetoric, whether it be political or religious or whatever, that there are a lot of people out there that struggle within family, as children and as adults. And there are people around them who care. And that becomes family. And sometimes we're honored to become part of someone else's family because we care for them. We follow the example of that holy family uh, that we celebrate this day. So let us look around. Let, uh, let us remember uh, that family is more than biology and blood and DNA. It's the gift of who we care for and who cares for us. As children of our loving God, let us know, now offer our prayers for all those who are in need. Our response is, God of love, hear our prayer. For the personal intentions of our sponsors, Gil and Lutgarda Vasquez, we pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. For the family of God's holy church, as we strive to love one another as Jesus commanded us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God of love, God, hear our prayer. For those who are estranged from their families, for those who have no family or, or who have lost their family, we pray to the Lord. God, God of love, love hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for George and Mary Lease and Paul Mahalik, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. God of peace, you have made us one holy family in Christ Jesus. In his name, we ask that you share with us and with all people the blessings of your incarnate Son. Let your everlasting love bind us close to him and each other this day and every day 
both now and forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mar Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all whom you call to the ministry and service of your church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we humbly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And as we share that peace here and extend it to you at home, share it with anyone you are with. Peace, Mike. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus at my 
breast. What king is there but you could give a blessing good? Wherefore I give my food. Sing to Right to your song as heaven's king. Oh, every night is in front Jesus at Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may our good and gracious God bless us this day and always. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us today for the celebration of the Feast of the Holy Family. Great being with you. Special thanks again to Gil and Lutgarda Vasquez for being our sponsors. Also to LaSalle Academy from here in Manhattan and Iona Prep from Upper School and Lower School from New Rochelle. Glad to have had you here to celebrate with us as well. Please continue to send in your Christmas letter intentions. We're putting those by the side of the altar all during the Christmas season. So please send those in. They're available on the website if you don't have the letter at home. And that's at the sundaymass.org. Have a wonderful beginning to the new year. Prayers and blessings to you and your loved ones. And we'll see you back here next Sunday to celebrate again. The preceding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.